Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make these Tumblr mock-ups using files from Creative Fabrica. Now to create this, I got both the Tumblr's and the Tumblr design from Creative Fabrica, and I get them all for free because I have that subscription. Let me show you the files I'm using so you'll know what you need to create your own Tumblr mockups. So if you click the link in the video description, you will be taken to this page of Creative Fabrica, which is gonna let you do a trial membership for just $1 for your first month. So when you sign up to do this trial, you'll be able to get all of these files for just $1. And then if you decide to continue, your membership will renew at $19 a month, which it's normally $29, so that's really cool. But this is the screen you'll be taken to, and you can't really access anything from here. Like, you know, you can try start your trial, you can scroll down and see all of the things that Creative Fabrica has to offer. But if you will just come and click Creative Fabrica right here, you will be taken into the main page of Creative Fabrica. And now I'm going to show you how we're doing all this and where we're getting all these files. So first, let's search for the designs that are going to go on our Tumblr because Creative Fabrica has thousands of pre-made Tumblr designs. So just come up here to your search bar and type in Tumblr Wrap. And you're going to start to see all of these Tumblr wrap designs. Now, if you have a subscription or you've started your trial for $1, you won't pay a single penny for any of these. How amazing is that? Well, other than the $1 subscription. But the ones that we're using today are going to be from a specific designer I would like to showcase. I've typed in floral leopard tumbler wrap. And this one right here is from the designer that I want to show you. So this wrap itself is awesome. But if I come in here and click on her profile, MYD Designs Co. I can come up here and you can see just literally everything she has. I love all of her stuff. And she has the glass can wraps. These are really, really starting to trend right now. Um, if you haven't seen them yet, you will be seeing a lot of them. So it's, it's cool that she has those too. But you can just see how much there is in here. And it's every kind of style that's, that's trending right now. Let's get that floral one though. Okay, so I've typed in leopard floral again and actually I like I like this one. I've already downloaded it. Let me just show you this one. So when you download her designs, what you get is just the wrap. It's just a basically digital paper that's sized perfectly for a 20 ounce skinny straight tumbler. So if you are doing sublimation or any other kind of, you know, print transfer, this file is going to be perfectly sized for your 20 ounce straight tumblers. You download it, you're good to go. So you click download, it's going to save to your computer, um, wherever you have your files set up to save. So go through and pick out all the different tumbler wraps you want. And then let's come back and get this file to mock them up onto. So to get our mock-up file, we're going to type in 20 ounce skinny tumbler mock. Would help if I put ounce instead of OS. There we go. Okay. So again, you'll see a whole bunch of stuff pop up. And I'm sure a lot of this is really good, but what you need for what we're going to do is this one right here. And I literally mean this particular file. You're going to have to get this one because this one has the Photoshop file with Smart Object. 
And before you ask, nope, you don't have to have Photoshop. You don't have to have any Photoshop editing skills. You don't have to buy anything. This is amazing what I'm going to show you. Okay, so here's this file. And I'll link to the file directly as well. And it's from Amina Amo. It's just this little file. You're just going to get these three cups. And she kind of shows you, you know, your design here. You can put it on different backgrounds. Um, or you can put different designs on your cup. And it will come with a solid white background. And again, one organized PSD file with smart object. If you're not going to get this file, if you have another one in mind, you've seen something somewhere else, you just make sure that it is a PSD file with smart object. That's the trick, that's the key, that's the magic. Okay, so you'll come and download this file. And it's going to be in a zip folder, so just pull the file out of the zip folder. And it's going to look like a web page when you pull it out because PSD files are in kind of like a web format. All right, once you've got your designs and you've got your mock-up downloaded to your computer, I just want you to hop over to this website, PhotoP. You just type in photop.com, P-H-O-T-O-P-E-A.com, and you're gonna get this page pull up. Now this is a free website. It's all web-based. You're not downloading anything onto your computer. You're not installing anything. But because it's free, you're gonna get fun little ads. So uh, if you wanna pay $3 a month, you're welcome to do that too, and they'll take the ads away. Okay, so open from computer. We have saved the files to our computer and we need to open them from the computer so that they are the correct size. So just click this open from computer. And it is, let's see here, mock-up Tumblr. It's spelled Tumblr in the design that she has, but this is what it is. It's the mock-up Tumblr. So just double click that. And here it is. I know there's a lot going on. There's lines. And there's all this stuff over here and it's a little confusing. I don't want you to worry about any of what's going on here. In fact, don't mess with anything. It's already perfectly laid out exactly the way it needs to be. So what I want you to do is come over here. You see this layer two and see how it's red. If you will double click on this icon, it's going to pull up a new page. It puts you over here where it says layer two and it's got your design here. Just turn these off, come click the eyes shut over here, and they all disappear. And then we're going to drag and drop. That's another important part of this. We're gonna to have to drag and drop the file that we want. So, let's see, I'm gonna minimize this. I'm gonna pull this up. Let's do the floral one that we downloaded. So, I'm gonna grab the file. I'm just going to drag it over here onto the page. There it is. Now I can make this regular size again. Okay, so here's the wrap, the Tumblr wrap. The only thing I need to do here is make sure that it fills up the entire page. So I'm just going to grab this handle, extend that out, grab this handle, extend that down. Now it's filled up the entire page. There's none of that. Um, checkered background. If everything looks good to you, click your check mark to confirm that it's okay. Come over to File, Save Smart Object. You have to do that. Then if you hop back over here, this is the page that we were on. Hop back over here to the mock-up Tumblr. What? Just like that. It's there. It's done. It's ready to go. All you have to do is save your image. So file, export as, um, let's do a JPG. You can do anything you want here, but I'm just going to do a JPG. And I'm going to name it, let's see, I'm going to name it mockup1. And I'm going to hit save. And if you want to up the quality, I mean, you're welcome to do that. It just makes your file a little bit bigger. Okay, so that one's done. Let's do another one. Close this out. Yep, I'm good. I'm done. Go back to Photo P. Open from computer. 
Let's go find our file, mockup tumbler, double click. Okay, double click on our layer two. Close the eyes because we don't need the text. Go find something we want to upload. Let's do, we'll do this one. Um, it was one that, whoops, I didn't mean to open that up. I meant to drag it over here. This was one that was for um, the glass cans, so it's not sized exactly right, but that's okay, we can still use it. I'm just going to drag and drop until it fills up the screen. That's still gonna be a really pretty file. Okay, we have filled up our screen, check mark, file, save smart object, Come back over here to your mock-up. There it is. I absolutely love this. There are so many other ones that you can get that you have to go through and save one cup here, one cup here, one cup here. You have to guess at where to break the design to save it onto each cup. Then you have to upload three separate photos. This file, I, I can't even say enough about it. The only little thing I wish is that we could turn off this background um, but we can't. It's a white background and that's fine. We can get rid of that in other programs like Canva. Okay, so we're good here. File, export as a JPG again, and I'm going to name this one Mockup 2. Save. Okay, let's see these mockups we've just created. Close this back out. Here's mock-up one. I'm just gonna open it up. Looks pretty good. Mock-up two. Also looks fabulous. Let me enlarge this. Guys, the files from her shop are great. This mock-up, this Tumblr mock-up, fabulous. I can't say enough about how much I enjoy having my subscription to Creative Fabrica because I don't have to pay for any of this. I could make all of these mock-ups with hundreds of designs and not spend any money on it. I could upload these all into my Etsy shop and be good to go. All right, that's all I have for you. We'll see you next time.